This time we head to North Manny, visiting a cute fishing village, drive the mountain roads and stop for a bit of a strange lunch with stunning views, plus lots more, so stay tuned. Heading north of our base in Limani, we drove the winding elevated roads until we arrived at the cute fishing village of Agios Nikolas. About 30 kilometers from Kalamata, it's known as Agnik by British tourists. It's a popular place to stay for holiday makers, and there are some really nice Airbnbs and traditional guest houses in the area. The village is still an active fishing harbour and fish markets happen early most days. As a result, the local taverners have the freshest catch on the menu every lunchtime and evening. So I think this is where they bring the fish in from the sea and they lay it out on these slabs and then weigh it up, price it up and it goes to the restaurants just in the town here, really nice. Whilst it's rocky in the harbour area, for those looking for a sandy beach, there is one about a 10 minute walk south of the village. This area of Mani has some great windy mountain roads to raise you up over the peninsula. The terrain is pretty good, so if you have a car, we highly recommend taking a few hours out around the mountains to take in the views. We had been tipped off about a local taverna that has incredible views, so we decided to take a stop off for a drink and a lunch snack. It doesn't look very open. So uh, the owners popped out and left us with some of the other people having a, a drink and there's not a lot of English going on. Um, the guy is quite good, but uh, they've gone to get us two beers. But I'm glad we came up here because uh, there's a really good view. I mean, it's quite a really winding road to get up here, but uh, yeah, they popped off to get us two alphas. So um, even though the owners popped out, we're gonna, we're gonna get served, so that's good. Got your alpha. Cheers. Yamas. <laughs> that's nice, I like the alpha. Yeah. Mm. Good brew. 
I mean, it's probably just like Greek fosters, but it's nice. This just shows how amenable the Greeks are. Friends of the owner, just having a drink and enjoying the view, managed to rustle up a chicken and chips lunch for us. Not what's normally on the menu, but the best we could communicate between us. I guess they know British tourists well. Something with chips always works. Will fed most of his lunch to the begging cats around our feet, which I think he enjoyed. Overall, it was pretty good, if a little expensive at 20 euros, but the views made up for it. Rather than head back the same way, we carried on with our mountain drive with no real clue where we were heading, but sometimes that's just part of the fun of a road trip. This small cove should have been included in our Caves of Deiros video a few episodes back as it's the Deiros Beach. Check out that video if you missed our adventures in the flooded underground caves. So we made it to the beach come down quite a steep windy road just a single track and then there's parking all the way along the front of the, the beach the beach itself is really pebbly it's quite difficult to walk on but we've just been for a swim and once you step into the water a couple of meters the rocks give way to really soft sand and the water we reckon is probably around 22 maybe a little bit more degrees warm so it's a small shock when you get in, but really it's fine. And you can float around in there. No worries about being cold. And of course, there's no clouds in the sky. It's beautifully warm. Yeah, lovely. Apart from the clouds are kind here, yeah? Oh. <laughs> well, they're like puffy ones, but above us, there is nothing. Next time we'll walk around the cobbled streets of the ancient town of Areopoli and have dinner at one of the outdoor tavernas. It's a very pretty place, so don't miss this video. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe so you don't miss anything. Happy travels from the Memory Seekers.